What's up everybody, Duray back at it again with another update on Ground Branch. Today we're going to be talking about an update that was just posted on their website, which is called Intel Update Number 5, Road to 1030. So you guys know that I've been talking about this update, 1030, how big it's going to be. Well, with this update that just dropped, it's going to make it even bigger. So let's go ahead and get into it here. They first talk about why this update is taking so long. They say, whether they're improving on existing motions or poses or adding to in game actions that are currently using placeholders or even anything at all every animation is being done on an entirely new character rig known as skeleton yeah i think i've actually seen 2d2k working on it in that program before on uh one of her streams one time and i'm not entirely sure if it's like an easy system to use or if it's better for people like if somebody wants to tell me down below if they've used it before that'd be great so basically what this is telling us is that they are redoing every single animation in this new system that's what's taking so long and it's all being done by 2d2k what a trooper i mean it really makes sense given how tiny their team is i mean there's only like one person working on that i just hope that she's getting paid well because that's a lot of work but yeah let's move on here they say here is there an eta as to when this is going to come out and for those of you that don't know in late 2019 they basically said that they were probably going to launch something in february or march and then eventually it was pushed to march and then april and now we're here basically in may not knowing when it's actually going to come out and all they gotta say here is they honestly aren't entirely sure when unfortunately they actually need to figure out how much needs doing but they certainly want to get it out as soon as they can they hope to have it out within a couple of weeks but we'll see so let's go ahead and hop into the meat and potatoes of this article the first thing here is animations which we already talked about in a previous video but they added a couple of things that are new in the previous video i had speculated that they would most likely have prone in this update and with this new gif here this actually proves me correct the prone doesn't actually look too bad it's still a work in progress but mm, I like it. I like how he actually puts his weapon like in between his arms right there as he's moving left to right. It's kind of cool. Can't wait to try it out. Another thing that they show off here is bolt action. Yeah, Crown Branch has always had snipers, but they never actually had any bolt action snipers that you could actually use. Well, that's not necessarily true. Apparently, they had a, a, a sniper that's mentioned in here. They had a sniper. I think it was the M24. Yeah, M24 sniper. But they took it out because, you know, you couldn't pull back on the bolt. Well, with the new animator, she's been able to, you know, get that to work. And then looks pretty good i gotta say not only do they show off a couple of things that we already talked about in a previous video but they also show off something that's new have you guys ever seen you know the high ready low stances we see in the actual game well this is what it's apparently going to look like as soon as they put it in Pretty neat, pretty neat. Let's move on to the next thing here. Here's something that's new. Encumbrance system. 1030 will include the first iteration of the encumbrance system. This initial pass will add stamina, which is affected by both loadout weight and movement. The more you carry and the faster you move, the less stamina you will have, the less you'll be able to sprint, and the more weapon sway you'll experience when aiming. Wow, this is a really big change, actually. I mean, it doesn't seem like it, but it is going to be a difference. Like, right now, like, you're getting none of that. Like, it just feels like a regular arcade game where you could just run Run around like a maniac and shoot whoever you want but uh, yeah let's continue on arm fatigue is also tracked independently so even if your stamina is at maximum levels your aim will become less stable over time from holding your weapon at the ready muzzle forward and engaged ads positions heavier weapons also mean more arm fatigue so you might want to think twice before taking an lmg or mounting a dozen attachments to your ar inertia and effects on ready times are also coming but we'll save the details for the the build update so this actually gives you consequences for going in with a shit ton of attachments and making your gun look ridiculous and simply just going in with an lmg and you're running around like a maniac that isn't gonna fly anymore it seems so that's kind of cool actually so let's go ahead and move on to the next thing here we've got the soundscapes small town depot storage facility and all training maps are said to have a day and night soundscapes also known as environment or ambient sounds our intrepid sound engineer mixon hopes to be able to get even more maps done in time time for 10 30 hell he says he might even be able to get them all done by then rookie mistake but we're rooting for you and then they show off a demo here which i will play for you now
This was a video that was actually released on the YouTube before this big update. So it's not necessarily something new, but it's definitely something that I haven't talked about on the channel just yet. And uh, yeah, the thing about Ground Branch is that they've been updating a lot of their gun sounds and their feet, you know, th their feet, but they haven't really upgraded anything around the ambient sounds. So this is definitely a big change here. I think they actually showed off a new map or, or at least a new part of the map. I don't remember that broken building. It might be a part of Depot, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. So let's go ahead and push on to uh, the next thing here they've got new character assets so for those of you that don't remember i showed off a bunch of assets in the previous video and now they're showing off a little bit more uh there's this new one that's here that's called from what my subscribers have said is a battle belt i'm not entirely sure what it's used for but i am assuming it's used to store like ammo and stuff right this is the first time i've actually you know seen something like this so somebody wants to let me know oh they have like a cool little ground branch branding right there that's kind of cool i like that and then they show off this chest rig i don't believe we've actually seen that in the previous video that i showed off but it looks really cool i'm assuming that's like a lightweight sort of thing right and then they have this other one that has a pair of vest i think that's how you say it, it just reminds me a lot of escape from tarkov but yeah that's all of the new character assets that were shown in this so let's go ahead and push on they have revamped a couple of maps the first one here is the paintball map that i've actually shown on the channel if anybody wants to go watch how the original looked and yeah this is like a complete overhaul like it actually looks like it's been given a lot of love the lighting looks really nice compared to the stale one that we had in the original but yeah this is a complete overhaul you have like places to like run up and down and go around you could go into those big uh i'm not sure what you call it like the pipes i think they're called pipes sewer pipes looks cool they also have this one which i believe is a map that i played a long time ago it was like a map that um was very short and only had like one house it was really bad because uh you were, you were only really able to spawn in like a couple of places nothing really crazy I, i'm not entirely sure if this is that one map that i'm thinking of or if it's a, a new map but it's really cool it almost looks like artwork like somebody drew this out instead of actually this being in a map but we'll see we'll see it looks cool and then they show this off here this is you being able to manipulate the lights so it shows this guy he turns off the lights by clicking on a, a flicker thingamajig then he flips it back on and then he shoots one out and then he turns the light back off now that there is some gameplay it's a neat little addition they have a couple of new weapons it seems they say that they're going to add a tacked out FAL with accessories and rails, which I believe the FAL is already in the game, but unfortunately it doesn't have any like way to modify it. So I'm assuming they're going to bring the more modern version into it or, or not the modern version, but just like a way to actually modify it. So that's cool. They're also adding in a G3 A3, but they don't say here if you're going to be able to modify it. Anytime that I've actually seen that weapon, I've almost never seen it modified. So I'm curious to know if that's actually possible to do. I'm sure you gunned it, so let me know right the next one that they're going to add in is the bolt action m24 sws yeah it says here that it's making a return to ground branch so yeah it's been in the game before but they took it out because they couldn't actually get the animation to work but now with 2d2k on the team that's going to be a possibility so that's great to hear pretty cool pretty cool let's move on they say what else is going on well apparently they're going to be adding in a new person to the team his name is daniel conroy he is one of their newest collaborators i guess dan is a hard service artist now in charge of weapons and general equipment models having previously worked on the vr shooter onward you can check out most of his stuff here which i actually did it actually looks wow he has he's got like a bunch of stuff wait he made stuff for identity uh oh don't let big fry see that and then they show off a new picture of a gun that's currently in production i'm not i think that's an hk model i could be wrong but it says here leave a comment if you know the name of this rifle first person that can name at least four main parts gets an impressed obama meme well well i am not the right guy to look for this sort of thing but uh you know if somebody does decide to name four parts and name the gun maybe i'll uh maybe i'll buy you a copy of ground branch maybe i'll call i'll buy you a copy of Bron ground branch the first one to do it will get a free copy of ground branch moving on this is probably the best one that made me the most excited i would think for this update so you know the screen where you edit your guy you know to make him look cool and stuff well now that's getting overhauled this is what it's gonna look like that looks so cool and also there's also a couple of things here too uh that that it kind of gives away for one we get a backpack what we have a gun belt what's a special purpose we can put lights on top of the helmets now edit our gloves and shoes face wear eyewear oh man and look at we also got camos oh man i'm so excited for 10 30 i want to see 10 30 god damn it oh and another thing that they added is uh gender you're going to be able to play as a female which i already showed off in a previous video but now you can actually see it in the overview screen 
screen. Oh man, this is gonna be so cool. I can't wait. I can't wait. I want it. 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 And yeah, that pretty much does it for the update. What are your thoughts? Is this something that excites you to get Ground Branch? Let me know down below. If you're someone that enjoys the fact that I cover games like Ground Branch, be sure to like, comment, and share the video. I always struggle with this algorithm. I'm not really sure why. If you're someone that's brand new, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. Maybe you'll like something that, you know, you want at some point. If you're someone that really wants to support the channel, check out my Patreon. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.